He's in front of him. He's played plenty of games. He knows what he's got to do here, but we'll see. Can Aurora finally get the win that they need versus Geek Fam? Or will they get bullied down again, just as it did in the upper bracket, and send them packing here on Geek or on Aurora? We'll see. It's a lower bracket final, so it is winner goes on to play Talon, and loser will unfortunately be out for these Dream League qualifiers for season 23. It's very interesting to check uh, the lineups of these teams. And you'll think, oh, is this finals? It's 23 Savage playing against Natsumi. You gotta be finals, right? Mm, true, so, yeah. Yep, it's not finals. Talon is there. Already, just waiting, waiting to see who will play them next. I don't know, man. I think, uh, I think this trap definitely can do it. I, I think Faces Void is still the, the end all be all. He did get nerfed slightly in the patch, but it wasn't enough, I think, to uh, keep him keep him out of top dog contention. Big fight going on, but with the blood grenades already thrown out, they don't actually want to continue the onslaught here. Jabs is a bit hurt. Natsumi is actually just like stepping forward, like, come at me. You can't walk up here. I am very interested as well to see what happens in this bot lane because Morphling getting off the ground early, being able to take out this Rubik is going to be huge for their team. Rubik will be a menace. you got some pretty decent spells to steal already in this game. Yeah, this lane is going to be... I don't know, I think Morph can just farm here. They can try to pressure him before level 3, but Petrider mm. already doing a good job. Right? Dude, Dude that is so good. Alone. And this is a pretty good lane for a Morphling once we get off the ground, right? A hero that you can get a lot of stick charges off of is always pretty nice. Mars is like an instant stick hero all game. So far, they haven't really put a lot of pressure in level 1 because Rubik also isn't a great level 1 hero. You have a, a little bit to work on there. He's great at securing range at grips, and that's right. all. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much all you got. That's his impact. Look at how they that's play it like this. I he like this, yeah. Natsumi. Ooh, the lift level one. You don't see that very often, but it was literally just to get those extra right clicks in. And now, I mean, he, he doesn't have much damage on the Morphling. Harder to CS there. Top side. Looks like they're getting some decent CS both heroes but this isn't the worst lane for a faces void right you're gonna get tiebreaker and then you'll time walk it back and eventually this gets a little unmanageable because the cooldown will be much lower for the tiebreaker but still it's not so bad for 23 on the faces void yeah, that's how you die right you're just trying to heal the tiebreaker mm -hmm. damage oh bottom they're going on scam but look at him oh they don't have the damage Oh, he has the fade bolt. He just couldn't see him. No, Skem lives. Which means we're still waiting on first blood after rune fights, after trading bottom. Uh, our observer is still sweating, trying to catch that first blood somewhere. He was thinking about getting the water rune, but like was there. Hey, don't you dare doing this, my friend. Mm -hmm. Do not join. I feel, uh, okay, monitor, yeah, how's it turn the monitor on? That's pretty bold, actually, to say so early in the okay. game. I know he's playing well, but damn. <laughs> That's a nice flex. I know, right? One escape from a, a Rubik with Fade Ball, and he's like, I'm so good. So good. I will, this Mars is not getting the CS that I expected him to have. This lane doesn't get better for them, right? Like, in my head... Natsumi is just going to continue to eat this stuff up. Uh, Jabs does have one Bracer. Going for another one soon, I'm sure. They really need to continue the pressure on Morphling, who is sitting with... Okay, well... <laughs> sitting with 400 HP right in front. Yeah, but the pause gives his... True. His needed time to think about it. Mm-hmm. Should He's not be at back. Tier 1. Yes. Yeah, the adaptive strike spam is gonna get real when he hits like four or five. So Jabs has to buy like raindrops just to be on the lane. Has level three already on Natsumi. So Batrider is doing a good job at not leeching a lot of XP here. He knows that 
he he has to make uh, his morph strong on this lane so he can rotate mm. to the runes later. He's getting yeah. a lot of CS already. Yeah, I mean, if he's able to hold here by himself, it could be an auto win for the mid lane because Morphling, again, very, very good at surviving once you get to level, you know, four or five. He's already got the two points of the adaptive strike. Easy to secure creeps for him. I mean, going to be a hard one, maybe, for this bot side on Aurora. And top, at least, is, is going well for them up there. Getting a good amount of CS on the face of Floyd. He doesn't care. He's had, it would be had, weird. Oh, he lost the <laughs> CS. <laughs> the happens. Yo, the stapler. He's doing some mad work there. I, I like seeing this Elder Titan. I'm glad that they actually picked this up. I think uh, there's been a lot of Agi heroes. High base armor for no reason. Uh, even the Terrorblade when we saw it. I, f I feel like we should have seen some more of it. I'm happy that Oli... Doing to, to bring it out here, especially versus the high team fight of Geek Fam. Even though you still, I think, outmatch them, just one sleep is all it takes to really get your team away from a torrent storm or even just a coil. It's a great hero to play with the faceless void as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chainstone's pretty good. Just get a little uh, sleep after the the ulti from yourself. Could just be all refreshers, team. We don't need any other <laughs> items. We just need to cast our ultis more than them. It just removes half of every hero's HP. True. So it's good. Very strong if you can land it. And you gotta be careful right now. Okay, the face is void. After I complimented him on his CSing in this lane, starting to fall a little bit behind. That could be a bit disastrous. They do rotate into the mid lane, but a little bit late, so it's just going to be trades on the runes. At least, uh, you know, Puck contesting fine with the uh, last track. It's weird, though, because Puck is a rotational hero. You do want to get that level 6 and take it to another lane if you can. Uh, but if you leave, then the last track just takes your tower, so you almost yep. have to bring everybody in. Oh, no, faces void topside. Looks like he could go down. Oh, big Lotus. Huge Lotus at the end there. They don't see him. And I'm trying. I'm trying tangles. to help you out. <sighs> I'm looking around. Yeah, Tango's up. We'll be fine. Yeah, eventually, he's gonna regen, but you can't out regen this double bracer, Konka. No, not at all. Always trying to like step up, be a body, but it's very hard in this lane again. This is like the the morph, but Ooh. as an off laner. Mm, yeah. <laughs> That's a base uh, take. Damage on you. Yeah. Uh, they have Morphling in the safe lane, Morphling in the off lane. They're both basically water based. You know, he's on a boat. Yeah. I can definitely believe that. Oh. Drops the grenade. Oh, Yo, huge of bash for 23. Was that a triple? What? Was that a triple bash? bash? Oh my goodness. Okay, no, it was only double. Only a double bash for him, but god damn. Well done for 23. He rolled the dice well and gets first blood. Pretty good for him because I thought that his CSing was a little bit uh, under what it needed to be, and he just put himself a top net worth with that one. Pause up on the Mars. Okay. Monitor? <laughs> now he's got to turn his monitor on. We'll just keep getting this until everybody is finally oh, playing as they see the game. Oh, the no. Okay. Yeah. It's been hard. He's been playing with the touchscreen this whole time. If you're having the trouble with the mods, you should hire a cat, right? Very good, Ace. Very good. I always wanted to cast with Lacoste. I'm glad that I finally have that pleasure. Uh, yeah, this is a very typical Lesh build. I suppose this didn't really change after the litter patch. There was no reason to. Maxing out the Diabolic Eater. You just do so much damage in general. It actually really helps with your ancient takes, because uh, even if you get the black dragons, you're still just doing the pure damage. It won't mitigate any of that magic that you're you're outputting. So I do like it. I think people used to use the stun a lot to secure CS, but like, you know, your, your lightning does that for you anyways. You don't really need anything else. And yeah, we, we got a few stacks. It's not crazy. We, we got a few. Yeah, you got some. Lesh can, yeah. can definitely go there and farm some later. We know Quinn loves it. When the triangle is stacked, just goes there, farm a lot mm. with his lash. Let's see if yeah. good enough does the same. 
I hope so. I, that could definitely put them back in this one. Again, like so much, I think, of what this mid game means for Aurora is on his game. Like, if he does not have a good game in the last track, then I don't see how they do anything on the map. So if he can get those stacks, I don't even think he'll get the, the Bloodstone, but maybe even just a Yules. Fantastic Yules game. Yeah, on the Lash, especially. Hmm. So, Darkwilla is deep in mid to refill Puck's bottle. Lash doesn't have the, the help of the supports just yet. Let's mm. see if they come for the next six minutes room. They're still in time to do that. Oh, yeah. I don't think well, Titan can do a lot on the top anymore. He can uh, try to like stun the Konka, and that's all. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I think there. it's just, I think it's just being a body for the faces voice. They don't all in twenty three. I mean, yeah, but the faces is a hero that like, yeah, they're both gonna get worked. I just don't know. Like, you, you don't have a mask of madness yet. You don't even have treads yet. I mean, Faces Void needs creeps from the lane to farm up before he gets at least the mask. Especially the Maelstrom, but at least the mask. He's having a miserable life there. Well, he's, he's talking that. boots it, and a salve. That first blood, I'm telling you, it literally changed his game. Because he went from, like, bottom core to top net worth, and he has, like, bottom CS. Like, it, it should, I agree with you, it doesn't look like he's having that great of a time, but that kill literally brought him back into this one. The power of first blood. Yeah, if it wasn't for the first blood, he would be suffering oh, he would more. Be, he would be despair. Because he's level 4 now. Yeah. Uka is gonna hit 5 soon, and the spam is real. It's a mm -hmm. lot of damage. Yeah, and what's the timing? So it's 18 seconds on his backtrack and 10 on Tidebringer. So you're, you're basically taking two Tidebringers for every time walk. Yeah, it's going to be seven soon. Yeah. It's going to be very, very bad. And the seven seconds, I don't think it ever... Yeah. The fourth level on time walk, he'll be able to lane. <laughs> but <laughs> until then, yard. Yeah, but he's thinking now, oh, I wish I could put some points on time lock just to farm better, but I can't against this Konka. Mm, yeah. No, time lock would have been pretty good. He's got a 12% chance and already got himself a double bash to get the kill, though. So uh, maybe he's already like 12 is the lucky number. You don't want to change it at all. Yeah. Looks like they are changing out the mouse. I'm sure they're going to be done soon. Uh, and we can get ready for the war in the mid lane here. Lornoff is close to level 6. Same with Mac. But uh, Potato is here stealing creeps. He could have already had his coil. But, uh, you know, Raging Potato had to get the mid refill on the bottle. So now they're here. I think Lornoff, uh, if he does get coiled, he's close enough. To the tower that they either TP in people, which everybody has TP on his team, or they he's uh, yeah right like he's he's got 900 HP. He's not he's not crazy low. He's got the range drops. He's got a fairy fire eight stick. I still don't think they can kill him. Hey, he doesn't die, and he will do a lot of damage back to you. Mm -hmm. Trying to mess with him, right? Three points in the edict. He'll probably get his pulse nova soon. There's a few creeps in front of him. Literally just needs like one of them. Uh oh! Admin coming in! Five minutes. It's Geek now. Yeah, yeah, switch it over. Give it to him. We are waiting on the, the mic from Natsumi. And then they instantly G when ready. Alright. We'll get back. There's a lot of creeps bottom coming to morph. Okay. Look, this is a big wave. Mm hmm. But. They want to try something. Uh, yeah, they're gonna actually bounce him back a bit here. We're trying to run him down with the flames. They're actually turning on him now, okay. Big hit with the spear, but that's gonna be it. Yeah, Natsum doesn't have wave form yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just gonna protect themselves for the Lotus here, so they'll pick it up on the Rubik. Oh, 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 definitely in danger here. A little bit more. Gets the kill. 
Very well done. Gets it on Mac. They didn't even have to use Coil for it, so it was just with the haste rune. Oli tried to help out his team, unfortunately loses his life for it. Yeah, now he just needs to wait, like, Kunkka get his sex, then you rotate to the faceless void lane, get one kill. Mm. This is very good already. I mean, if, uh, if he keeps getting some kills like that, then the, the puck will be a menace. They don't have the best stuns again, they're just looking for, what, a, a lift into a spear? It's probably gonna be the best thing they can do. <laughs> But, oh no, silenced up with the coil. Faces Void definitely in danger. Uses the time dilation. Could protect him for a second, but the nuke damage from Mac is definitely enough. They'll get the kill, and once again, this puck, this time did have to use the coil, but it was for a worthy cause. And you know why that worked? Because they did not wait for the level 6 on the Konka. Mm, okay. So the Faceless Void was not expecting the rotation I see. just yet. I see, I see. That makes sense. And yeah, you can see the net worth pretty pretty good for Geek Fam right now. Even the supports farming up nicely. Uh, but this Mars, it's been a rough lane. He did get technically counterpicked. They knew they wanted the Mars and or the Morphling into this matchup. He's even waiting on his level six, and if the Morphling continues to free farm like this, he might not get to touch the waves, because that adaptive strike will hurt. Yeah, he doesn't want to get low as well, because mm -hmm. he wants to be ready to fight if needed. Yeah. You have Arena soon, so it's not worth it to keep trading with the Morph on the lane. No. And he's actually going right in for the Vines. I love this pickup, actually. Uh, very good just to sustain yourself. Some people are fine with just the Morbid Mask, but I think in this one, that extra armor versus the Mars as well, very nice. Oh, yo, we use the ulti in 23, trying to get a kill. Looks like they will not layer the stomp. Don't need it. Lornoff will actually pick up the kill. And they won't continue for the tower. They feel with the Chrono down. They got them all they need, but it is some well-needed gold going over to 23. Yeah, now they're rotating to scout the triangle to kill the Mars. Has six already, but they decided to just kill the stacks. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of heroes here. Oh, yeah, they get the arena, but they never got the spear on the puck, so they'll just take down the Batrider. I, fantastic kill for them. They'll protect their stacks, but you really wanted that puck. Yeah, I mean, your four is dying to Chrono, your five is dying to Arena. I think they're not. Uh, very mad about it on Geek yeah. Fan. No, that's just life. Space created, man. Space created. Yeah, as long as they keep tanking these spells, their cores are gonna farm. Oh, dropping the boat. He wants that protective buff for himself, and Lornov not able to take him down. So nice escape there from. Uh huh. Can you pronounce that name for me, Ace? Cox. Thank you. That's all I needed. I'm a child. <laughs> that was a weird attempt, actually. Just going there alone with the Lash. They don't have Chrono. Yeah, they just it's... had to use like Bolt and survived. Half HP. Yeah, no, I mean... With the Punk Ganks, it's, it's different. They get a kill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels fine, right? Like, yeah, you use boat, but at this point in the game, you really are waiting for the water park on Kunkka. I think, is he going for a blade mail first on Kunkka? Had like double bracers and uh, yeah, he's going the he's going blade mail. Okay, yeah, which is still still very good for him, but he just scales so well with items. We're not gonna have a BKB for a bit on the faces void likely, and definitely not on the last track. I mean, yeah, going for the Kaya now. Any amount of items that you can get early gonna be nice for you. Oh, very good deep ward actually. Even blocking some of the camps. Okay. Only putting right. it somewhere for his team. The vision he put there can have a big impact. Yeah, no, I mean anytime they go for those uh creeps, if you're able to see it happening, Lornoff is actually gonna smoke and use the diabolic edict with the regen, so he has so much. This is a, a little cheesy, but it's going to work out for himself. <laughs> Pumps him up almost to top net worth. Yeah, he'll get there. So, uh, well done. I, I've seen a few people do this. I've seen people even do it with uh, SF. They'll smoke and use the raises to take down stuff, which is even more viable with the buffs to his uh, his shadow raise mana cost. We can see more of that. that that's, 
interesting game design mm -hmm. that you can just do that. <laughs> I'm sure most of it was the regen, though. I think he could even have tanked those creeps with the regen rune. The, the smoke was just a little cherry on top. Oh, they're baiting the Konka. Mm hmm. Yeah, Let's I mean. Or are, are gonna bite it. You need to get a little bit of damage. 23 does not have what it takes to take down that Kunkka by himself. They're gonna X him up, maybe toss him back into the torrents. They'll drop down the boat as well. They'll get on top of him with the fear. Boat connects, can they kill him? They will. He doesn't get off any of his other spells and now they've stunned up the Morphling. Connects with the ultis. Natsumi is in so much danger, trying to get the ulti away, but no, he can't do it. Coil down as well. They're fighting all on top of her geek fam and they are running away. Lornoff does TP back in, feeling fresh off the ancient grass, but but with the X, no, he still gets oh, it. He the got the kill. It connected to the very last second. They still get it. Now Lordoff is in danger. They'll turn back around. Skem, he survived this entire fight. Same with the Mars jabs coming back. One more gauntlet. You could be all it needs, but no. The team is aggressing. He does not want to stay and possibly feed. So now they'll just turn back. back in. It's been that long. Yeah, 23 is back at it. Jabs gets the kill. The fight just never stops here in SDA. Oh man, that was so good for Geek Fam getting to kill the Faceless Void right mm -hmm. away. Yeah. I, I think Mars came late to the party because he could be comboing with the Titan, but mm. it's okay. Yeah, no, I mean, Aurora, they did lose more overall, but I feel like you have, you're have you definitely correct. You can't let your Faceless Void get changed on like that. Nobody entered the fight like at all until like a boat landed and I was like, oh God, that guy's in danger. <laughs> Yeah, there was just so much on the, on the poor Faceless Void. Mm -hmm. Now he's, he's smoked with his team. He wants revenge. He wants to use the Chrono. They have this very good ward in the triangle, but they know that Dark, Dark Willow is around. Are we going to see a replay? Chrono on the Willow? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I thought you were asking for a replay, like, in the middle. Like, damn. You're really putting Quite the production on fire right now, lighting a fighter fire <laughs> under them. Mike. Once again, a little bit of mic issues here. Uh, second time. We'll, Drop we'll, the mic. We'll see if they get it fixed here. I don't... I mean, I don't think we're at risk of it, but I, I hope that no team runs out of their pause time. That could be a bit rough. We, we don't want to see this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Go already? All right, we're ready to go. Getting back into it here. It's just six to six, 13 minutes in. And yes, it is a 12 or 2,000 net worth lead. That's not so bad, though, for Geek Fam. They should be ahead slightly. I think we are waiting for the Faceless Void to really come online. And they did really uh, game up versus the Mars lane. So he's kind of in a slow starter as well. They're going to smoke, jump in. It does feel like a replay, doesn't it? This time they won't commit the uh, Chronosphere, though. He does just get the kill all naturally with the Fade Bolt steal from Rubik. This is a five hero rotation. They got the Dark Willow kill. They will get the tower. Also, they have Blink Dagger mm -hmm. on Mars. It's a pretty big They're turn. Ready to fight on Aurora. Mm -hmm. But they did run away on the Faceless Void. You know, it's, it's good for him. Just keep up the farm. Instead, Lornoff is going to take these stacks. They still have the ward here that sees everything. This is kind of getting away with murder. They're just going to take it, and nobody is going to contest. So even more gold for Lornoff here. Getting closer yeah, and closer to his BKB, which will be fantastic versus the water park. And I've paid off to move to rotate like five heroes to this. The morph was trying to steal the wisdom rune. But mm. There was a lot of TPs. Oh yeah. Cannot, cannot aggress on that one. Yeah. And he was not only securing his tower, but he took Mars tower. On, on the morph, that's a good impact. You have mm -hmm. a safe lane. I don't know. Even though, like, the net worth lead is still like increasing very well for Geek Fam, they are losing some objectives. But this morph lane is farming up a storm. I think they're getting a little bit of aggressive farm as well up on that top side. I think they're sending a hero there every once in a while. So you're like losing stuff on the map as your Aurora, and they're actually gonna get smoked on now. You could put yourself in a very heavy advantage if you win a decisive team fight here. They could get themselves a kill on the Mars, plus a tower. Jumping in first with the coil, it's on to two, plus they get the fear to send him away. 
but there's the ulti in from the Elder Titan. Plus, they have the Chronosphere on the other side. They connected on the pop, but they add the damage. It looks like with the left track, they do huge bashes in, but a big oh, Morphle Nuke. He'll jump to the backside, stuns up some of his teammates, but at least he'll live on 23. End of the day, pretty good fight for Aurora here as the mid laner falls. Oh my god, that was a very good chrono. Great decision from 23 as well by just staying around his team. He knew that they were smoked. They want this mid tower as well. They killed top already. They killed bottom, so they want to close it. Mm hmm. No, they want to close it all down. Do they dare go in there, Morph? Huh? Right? This feels kind of crazy. Maybe it's allowed, though. I mean, you did just use, like, all of your spells on Aurora, so yeah. maybe it's okay. He knows. Looks like they're gonna drop down some brambles here in danger on the Rubik. He'll actually bring back the Willow and they get the sleep. Do they have anything else to follow up though? Time. Yeah, I don't, he doesn't have any points in the stomp, right? Yeah, no, only two points so far. There's use to turn the Willow as well, so. Oh, so both Robek and Willow have used Scepter already. Mm. They are farmed. Yeah. It's a, it's a great Yules game for anybody here. It's just, uh... I don't know. With all this farm that you're getting on Geekfam right now, even the fights that they're losing, they're just playing the map so much better than Aurora at the moment. You've got to start getting out of the map. I feel like at this point, if Aurora wins, it's because Geekfam didn't stay aggressive. But right now, they're doing just... I think everything co correctly, other than you know a few few team fights. You just blink. Yeah, now some fire discussion on the chat. I was checking here. Two guys, just first game. Oh yeah, no, we got plenty of gaming ahead of us here. They jump in with the arena on the Konka, slept up, and the BKB in from Lornoff. It comes at just the right time as they'll take down that offlane Konka. Now he's going to try to chase down the Willow as well. Has very little protection versus the Letrak. Another stun connects from Lornoff. It's a double for him, and the Letrak is cooking. Yeah, they, they can get the skills with the arena only. They don't need to involve the Faceless Void for this. Mm. No, not He's at all. so good for the Lash. This is exactly what I wanted to see them do. I hope they keep it up. Uh, they do kind of have to play off the BKB timing. That was his 9 second BKB, so it makes sense that they owned up on that fight. But you need to continue on the map. You can't just keep giving away this free farm that they're getting on GeekFam. Uh, they do finally punish it here. We'll see if GeekFam want to respond with maybe a smoke of their own. Yeah, they definitely could. They just need to be worried about, like, a counterplay with the Chrono. Mm. It's available now. We see oh. 23 Savage hanging oh. on the area. Ooh, don't walk mid. Oh, they have a they have vision there. He could go down on the Faceless Void if they're not careful. Plus, yeah, go they've ahead. Oh, oh, yeah, they've, they've locked him down here. Getting the coil down. He'll fall. Atsumi with the kill. Huge nuke damage out from the Morphin. Exactly what they need. And now Aurora, I don't think you can defend this tower. You had the fortification up, but I doubt it's going to take 30 seconds for Geekfam to take this down. I think we just let them get the, the tower. Ooh. He was so unlucky. Yeah, no. This, the sentry was already there. He definitely did not expect it. So unlucky. Nighttime as well, so mm. he didn't see much. I wonder if they have a ward around there. Oh no, there's there's creeps on them. Never mind, never mind. We'll get himself. I believe it was Cursed Crown on the Rubik. I think Bramble's a, a pretty nice one to steal on this game. Your, your team isn't used to like dodging out Brambles since you're the one with a, a Willow usually. Uh, and also like Coil if you can ever manage. There's a lot of great spells for him. Mm-hmm. The water park is actually pretty easy to steal as well. You'll at least get something. As soon as the first one is cast, usually either a torrent or an X can't really come out in time. It's only a 3,000 hours lead. Uh, I think he should be close to it. I feel like we spent a lot of time farming it up. Now. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Smoke up, they're gonna try to take a fight into it. Now, BKB is up on the last track, but everybody else, I believe, it's flying blind. Jabs doesn't have one, surely. But... Yeah, okay, just Yules. I guess it's something, but it's still not a BKB. 
They do see Raging Potato in the mid lane. I don't think this is the target they want, though. It is not. But Bucky wants the rune. Oh, yeah. Come into the mid lane. The water's fine. <laughs> it's the buy it. No, he's not. He'll bottle up himself on Arcane Rune, which will be nice for the next engagement, but they did not take the bait on Geek Fam, and they're continuing to just farm up everything. You've spent so much time grouped up as Aurora, and Geek Fam just, they haven't cared. They're taking their Ancients, they're farming efficiently, and we're getting close, actually, to, I believe, the Phylactery done on the Morphling now. Yeah, the tower on the bottom side is just still alive. Morph Morphling did a great job at ganking and protecting the tower. Now it takes four heroes from Aurora to just kill it mm. safely. They would rather fight. They're just not finding the openings. Yeah, no, I mean, so many smokes have just been dodged. I, we haven't had a really deep one, like, they feel very scared. And lots of that is because Aurora, they don't have soft commit, really. They do have a sleep, but if you want to lock someone down for a kill, like, you're throwing out the arena, you're throwing out the chronosphere. So it's very hard for them to kind of just, like, find a quick pickoff. You're really just giving everything to get these kills. And now, after trying to take these smokes, they're actually backing into the Tormentor. They will end up getting it eventually, but Raging Potato is actually pretty close. If he wants to test the waters up there, he could. He, he wants to know what's up, but he doesn't want to die. They have a very good ward on the lane. They will see the Faceless Void coming, they might think this is a free kill, but guess what? The gang is there. Mm -hmm. They're Roche. The boys are around, and yeah, into Roche. They are going to back out on this one. They know what's happening on Aurora. They have a lot of ways to get free vision in with even just the spirit on the Elder Titan. Lornoff. Gonna clear the wave. Wave control is pretty important. Get into Roshan. They're just, oh no, they're walking away. Do they not know? I Mars is completely on the other side. They, know. they do not, they have no idea this is happening. They Mars have a guess is now. Connecting. Yeah. He's confused. He's got the shield room. They will show the ward. Oh no. Last yeah, few and... seconds of the ward. They know the void is not there, so it's free Rosh. Yeah, no, I mean, oh, you gotta stay in here. They're coming back. It looks like they have the vision now. Spirit coming in. Matsumi, you're not able to stay in here for this one. In fact, you're gonna get bashed up by Hiroshi there on the Kunkka. Lornoff gonna play on the side for this one. We'll get looked at for just a second. Oh, Lord, yeah. Stolen up. A lot of vision now on the Rubik, thanks to the flying he gets from that Firefly. The rush is very low. Dude, they're playing this so carefully. I can't believe Natsumi, you are a bold, bold man to keep staying in here. They're gonna get a coil down on two, actually. Mars connected with one. They're just making sure that they can save the rush on here. It's gonna get slapped up. It's down as the blink but they still get it on the morph lane. It's a chrono, but it was just too late. They'll take the first life of the morph now, but have you already won this fight? Killing him once, buyback on the willow. They get another stun in from Lorna. Mars are in, he was going down to Aji. Maybe they can get the kill. He's able to waveform away from the arena, but Lornoff, he has to kind himself away. He's already taken way too much damage. Got a TP out on the Faceless Void. He'll get out of here. It did take a buyback of the Dark Willow, but eventually Geek Fam, after losing Aegis, will still win this fight. They walked away with it. They only lost the Titan. That's it's not so that sad bad. that the Batch Rider found a soul, a, a lasso on the Void, but had no follow up. Mm, yeah. 23 just. TP'd out afterwards. Mm -hmm. It was so easy for them to contest. Seems like Geek Fam was not ready to fight. Yeah, it was right. A like... Good coil play just to buy time for the war, mm -hmm. but they don't really had a plan in case that became a team fight. Yeah, no, Mac played a, a very good one. Uh, without that coil, they definitely get like arena in the middle of Roshan. Uh, I think he was only looking for the Leshrac too. There was just a, you know, a bonus Mars that he found in that one. If you look at your team on Aurora, I think you're still disappointed in that one. You have a Faces Void, Mars. Uh, you should not end the Elder Titan. You should not be losing these. And now, oh no, Faces Void. Already time walked away and made the combo a lot easier for that Kanka. And now trying to get away with the waning rip, but he's going to get coiled now on the Rubik. Does have a little bit of magic protection with the Glimmer Cape. Could actually walk away from this one. 
Lifts himself away. Has the Yules. Best. Could bounce himself up, but only uses the waning rift first. Now dispels. Limber? Oh yeah, and well with the sleep. No, it doesn't connect on anybody here, but he's finally dragged the team back into his tier two tower. This is a good fight for them, maybe. Splitter connects, even getting on top of the puck here, but will be able to kite themselves away. Natsumi, you don't have an Aegis, man. Stay strong, you, but... You don't really want to fight this. No, no I don't more. think so. Rubik almost baited all Geek Fam into a very bad fight. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're following. Yules up into the sky here. They could do it. Jabs to the tree. Do they have the follow-up stuns? No! He didn't get the air spike! The stomp is wait. Oh my bad. goodness! He thought he had time, but it's kind of sunge a buck, so... Oh, man. Like, what level is Spear on the, the Mars? That did not feel like it lasted very long at all. That's a level he 4 Spear. This took into consideration oh, the status resistance of the buck. Man. That's all. Uh. That should just stun right away. I mean, I, I love this Yules pickup from the Mars. I think this is exactly what they need to do, but they really need to tighten up those chain stuns. Radiant yeah, it's very nice to catch the puck. But they will need more eventually. Like so, Scythe of Eyes. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Mars is actually pretty good for that one. He did go Soul Ring, right? I believe I saw that on his hero. I keep asking you to click back on the Mars. I'm so sorry. You, you're doing a great job observing. I'm just a very curious boy. Uh, yeah, no, I, I like this. It really gives you a lot of scaling. I think you could actually go BKB Refresher Scythe if you really wanted to, just because you have that Soul Ring. It opens up so much for you. Yeah, Mjolnir coming out of the face of Spoid. The bashes will be potent, but he bought. Okay, I see. He bought the <laughs> the maelstrom or the Mjolnir recipe instead of the BKB recipe, which I'm sure he was trying that to happens. buy. That uh, happens. That doesn't uh, that doesn't merge up anymore. It is not a one size fits all. That would be that would be some insane Dota patching though, if you could somehow make it that <laughs> each recipe costs the exact same amount. It's just all the other items that are balanced around it. Just started playing Dota. I was just walking around with a lot of recipes. No, just like all in the backpack. <laughs> like, what do they combine? The poor guy. Now he's got a uh, a mule here. Uh, I, I guess at this point it's fine. You know, he's waited long enough. I don't think you're really shoving a hyperstone in there, anyways. So it's it's mostly okay. They have BKB on face of Void. They're ready to fight. Mm-hmm. They have BKB on the Mars as well. Yeah, BKBs are very important in this game. Versus the Konka versus the Puck. A lot of these heroes are rendered a bit useless once those BKBs come out. And it is, once again, on Geek Fam now, uh, the chain stun up to get these kills. Especially on the Faces Void. Yeah, and they have the Bloodstone on the Lash. It's go time. He's getting some mana back on the base. They can definitely go for a smoke Ooh. play. Ooh. This is gonna be a nice, yeah. Almost uh, level 3 on his ult now on the Faces Void. Oh, Three big wizard man. Ooh. Yeah, I think so. That was a big Gus rebuke. They will end up getting the kill there uh, on the Raging Potato. I love that guy. Unfortunately, he does die. Did you see how large or the Split Earth was? I know! That AoE on Bloodstone <laughs> is wild. And he even got the talent as well. And uh... It's like a mini Ravage. Uh-huh. He's... he's... He's a big boy in these fights. I mean, the extra lifesteal as well that you get from the, the Sanj. Uh, with the, the Bloodstone, like, he doesn't have a Yules that I, I thought he would go for. Doesn't really matter, though. He hasn't had a huge problem getting in and out of these fights. And he's a tanky boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. front. They feel... I, I still... Like, look at this net worth lead. It's gone up to 6,000 now. So much of this game is happening on your side of the map. You just got all these BKBs. I really feel like Aurora are missing a huge timing for them to at least get aggressive farm and move out on the map. I don't even care if you kill anyone, but like, let's let's throw some wards down. Let's make sure that they're not farming and look at how much they have control of basically their entire side of the map plus top jungle. Just all belongs to Geek Fam right now. Yeah, but they are the ones that they are the ones with the faceless void, so they are not rushing anything here. They're just chilling, waiting mm -hmm. for a good opportunity to fight. 
And now Lornoff all by himself. They're gonna clear him up, try to get behind him. He's gonna get nuked up once. Lasso oh, will connect cash. here. Has the BKB already though. He may get to turn this one around. The stun, thanks to the AOE there. Uh, actually connects onto Ska. I'm gonna get you, uh, X back though. Lornoff, he's not in danger, but he doesn't have any friends in here. Oh comes one, plus another. He does chrono the Mars, and he doesn't want the BKB. He'll actually still get sent out of his own chronosphere, but Lornoff will clean up. Gets one kill, he's turning back onto the Morphling. Has to get away from this one. They already used the coil. Everybody will try to just back out of this one because Geek Fam, it feels they have overstayed their welcome. Goes into the sky here on Rubik. A billion brambles in front of him, but the stolen tour will get the kill. And it looks like they'll still take down two from Geek Fam and Aurora. Finally get back on the map. This is what I wanted to see from them. Man, Konka getting the being alive after this fight is a mistake, I think. Mm. They were yeah. so close of getting the kill, but it's not really able to just chain stun him. He just clicked the BKB and walked away. Mm -hmm. The brother was big, but we didn't want to press BKB to prevent the terrorize Radiant on 23 Oscar. Savage. That yeah. just caused the kill on Kokai. It's unfortunate. And he had to use BKB anyway, so... Right? Like, he, it was right after. Like, he had to do it to step up to the Morphling. Uh, it was a really nice coil, though, to get the Morphling away from that one. It was very close to a kill, and yeah. Roshan could be up in a few minutes. They just burned a lot of spells. You want a lone, lone spawn if you're Team Aurora. Oh, that might hurt. Uh, they might not have any of their big ticket abilities in by the time that one spawns. Now, it is up to Geek Fan to be in the pit and make sure that they're around as soon as he spawns, but they're going to smoke up here. Feels like they're the ones that are in control, and I would agree with that one. Lornoff is showing. Going to get X'd up first here. He's waiting, seeing how much they actually commit to this one. Popping a few spells, trying to get it some vision in guy. with the spirit, and yeah, BKB pop from Jazz actually sending back this bat rider and i think they can actually get the kill on this one arena out they are going to commit with the coil now 23 and danger able to buy the bkb again there's some good bashes onto the morphling but he can't stay for too long now the bkb is out he's going to get away from this one somehow the bat rider lives and it's now time for mac to open up in this fight gets on top of the mars one yules off a huge stun actually from Lornoff, but he's out of mana and out of time i think trying to get away from this one but the torrents they're too much trying to tp out that's not going to work they'll lose too Geek fam are in control and they have kited this fight to perfection. Now on top of the pieces void, the <laughs> double back. You have right. Chrono. He's trying to dance. He does have the Chrono, so you're able to pop it, but the door is right on top of him. Plus the sun, he pops the Chrono, but he may die inside of it here. Natsumi on a killing spree on the no. Morphling. Oh my goodness. They only had to wait a few seconds before fighting. The Chrono is coming back of cooldown. This was very good on Geek Fam to just realize that they were not able to fight without the Chrono. Mm -hmm. They just kept going. That's the classic, classic circle draft thing, right? You get all these big team fight spells, you use them all for a top fight, and then you are very weak for at least another minute. And they just didn't respect that, right? Like, they thought that they could still fight. Not the BKBs were enough, but it just wasn't this time. And one thing is concerning here, it's the second time the, bat, the Lash tries to kill the Bat Rider, but he doesn't have the damage to do that. To think that that's just a support, you're having a hard time killing it. Oh my! Hey, Arena, this once again. This is a tanky Bat Rider, look. Dude, he's not dying. Actually, he's trying to turn this one. Thankfully, like you, yeah, they have the support here. It ends up forcing BKB and Arena. I mean, yeah, you died, but space? I don't know, man. Scam is just doing a great job oh, taking no. spells for his team. <sighs> Alright, they're not even going to contest this first round. Geek Fam, once again, their map play has just been fantastic in this game. The way that they understand where their strong timings are, farming efficiently on the map, they're doing so much correctly right now. And they're going to go immediately topside. It looks like they still want to be the aggressors. Are they the ones with Vision up top? Yeah, the, uh, or no, 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 sorry. That's, that's Dire Wards. Yep, yep. I just still have this ward. So I Lorna. just getting the U Scepter upgrade. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, that's gonna help him to move. Yeah, I mean, you, you just need more to survive these fights. I'm surprised that he doesn't think the Yules is enough, but 
You do have setup spells, right? If you do use yourself, you could be setting yourself up for either a, a bounce back with a flame break, brambles, maybe a, a coil, or you know, more likely a torrent. I understand why he wants the full thing. It's a, it's a big, big item though. Yeah, if you're buying you scepter as a core, you want to upgrade it. But I really think they need damage on Aurora. Hmm. Like something in addition to the Chronosphere, or just like they're lacking they're it all over? Just raw damage. Okay. Feels like they're lacking. They're not killing the Batch Rider. Hmm. Jump in, Hex. Onto the Morphling, sending him back as well. A lot of damage already. He's getting the Strength Morph up, but the Diabolic Eating put in a lot of damage. Able to get the BKB off. Natsumi will be out. They toss the boat onto Jabs. Pretty low committal all in all from Team Aurora. That was the perfect execution, perfect target choice, perfect spell casting, but still mm -hmm. no kills. Yeah, that was one of the better executions that we've seen from them. Unfortunately, they did not have the Faces Void right away. I feel like they could have layered in a Chrono off of that one, but I guess they just did not feel comfortable without the vision, right? They didn't really see where Geek Fam was yet. Yeah, and they, don't, they don't really want to use the Chrono on the Morph with the Aegis. That's so fair. Still, he just tried to kill yeah. it for free, but again, no damage mm -hmm. and shard and the morph as well. Oh, no, that's true. With the with the Aegis still there, it's hard to to want that full commit. They played it well on Geek Fam, of course, shoving him forward, making it look like he can get him. Yeah, but he's so fast on the high ground. Raging Potato. Lornoff is trying to be a little careful with the farm. He does have a Regen rune. He's kind of baiting. Look at Faceless Void. Yeah. What's uh, what's Faceless got right now? Did he get any cool items in the interim? Cool items. No any, cool anything? items yet. No, no, not yet. He did finish off that uh, Mjolnir. You got to do something with the recipe. And he's going in for the MKB next. So they're trying to just go through any evasion that they may just have. Just go Divine Raper. True. With the new toggle ability. Yeah, it's gonna amp your ba your bash damage. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> you can toggle it to the spell and get the spell amp on his passive. Arena down! Oh. Who would they catch out here? Pog, that's a pretty good one to find. Chronosphere on top of it got bounced almost outside of the Chronosphere, but not enough. They'll still get the kill. BKB out from 23 as well. He just wants I'll to leave. Run. But he got rooted! And now Two seconds left, trying to get out, gets used up before he gets oh hit by the time God. dilation. Able to get through because the fear didn't connect. Trying to X him, they'll get him. Where is team? Can you save your boy? It looks like with the last, so he will go down. They don't have the mechanics to save him here. Lornoff is going to put his body in first now. A lot of stuns, but they're kiting it perfectly here from Geek Fam. Going to try to X back this Elder Titan. They should be able to commit to him. So many brambles, so easy right now for them to take this fight. They ended up buying back in the Bat Rider, but I don't know. Know if you can even kill this clunky yet. Finally taken down there by Lorna, but Natsumi. A triple kill for him already. Jumps forward into the left track. Has to use the Yules once again. BKB popped. But he's not done though. Wants to stay on him. Has the Scotty slow, but the rest of the team oh doesn't feel as slow. comfortable. Yeah, but it, it, it's just not good to chase this. You just want to fight, just push out waves. Mm -hmm. They have the Aegis for 30 seconds still. It was just a buyback on the Bat Rider. Hmm. Yeah, that's the only the one. Fuck. For it, it, it feels like that's good, but you also did use Arena and Chrono to get it done. So we haven't like, yeah, you get the kill on the puck, but there was still an Aegis Morphling around there. And he's got damage items, right? Like the Vlad, Scotty, pretty good for him. And the Conda is even, yeah, Conda will be in there soon. Gonna get himself a DD, Lord. He is big. It feels like Aurora needs more on these fights. At least something like Shiva or Hex on the Lash. Mm. I don't feel like Lash is applying much, a lot of pressure on the team fights. It's more Mars yeah. being a big problem for them with the arena. I love his build. I, I will say this, Aurora, even though I haven't liked how they've taken these fights with more items, I do think they'll win this game. They already have the Hex up on Mars. I think the Refresher is probably coming next. Going Hex as well on the Lesh Rack. So they're yeah. going to become a lot more offensive. And Faces Void, he's getting his gold. Now we do have a DD on Natsui. I think we could just see a Rubik disappear if he finds somebody, but 
Looks like they're still playing other sides of the map right now. Yeah, Morph is just trying to get a free pick off. But Aurora, they're more focused on getting more items. Mm. I wonder what his next one is. He's, he's kind of capped out right now on the Morphling. For him, um... He can get like butterfly. Right? I was kinda of thinking that. I think he'd have to give up his his boots maybe, but that seems pretty okay. I think a disperser wouldn't be so bad for him. Yeah, satanic, not bad as well. Mm, yeah. Yo, blink still have the wads. Uh hex stop actually finds the puck here, gets the spear as well. Chrono to layer in. Once again, we've used all our ulties to take down the puck. What else do you have in the tank for the other four players on this team? Now you just walk away, put a good vision, place a good ward, and see if Geek Fam tries to react without the puck. Then you punish them, but I doubt it. I think they'll just wait. No need to rush anything here. Mm. We even got a. End of the day, it was two OTs for your mid laner. Mm -hmm. You can still fight afterwards. Just wait. Nice. Using the gem that they so graciously got from that as well. I mean, at this point in the game, two ultis don't feel terrible. We are 40 minutes in. The death timers and the ulti timers are trying to line up a little bit. Still, next focus is going to be on Roche. Oh, does he TP out in time? <laughs> oh, yes, he does. Okay, they're pinning it now. Probably went up here. Go yeah. to oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Is he, did oh, he go what? back in? I think he came back in! He just gets what? What? Why did you go back? Why? I just wanted to send some illusion stop. They want to oh, be there. Oh my god. He tried to play them. Like, look, <gasps> I'm top. Farming. Come catch me. Hey, look, I'm bottom. Oh my goodness. I can't believe he did that. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate. It was like a really good, like, quarter. I was going to get a lot of farm on the map, but now he goes down. This is going to be a tower for Lornoff. They do get a shard on the other side of the map, but this game just tightened up a lot. And with that kill on the Morphling, a lot more danger for him. They are going for an Eon Disc on the Puck, trying everything they can to survive. But they're just going to start in a really weird position, though. Yeah. And they're actually going to go higher. This is a little crazy, but there is no Morphling, so maybe they can get away with it. Yeah, they can always use the defensive telekinesis. Still BKBs on everybody so far. They don't feel threatened without the Morphling here. So does Wind Waker himself away? Oh, they didn't get the... They didn't actually get anything. What? <laughs> on the Barret. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. 38. Damn. Not the end of the world, but... No, it's not. It makes these... Out of nowhere. Like... You kind of want those though, like once we start getting into these Roshan contesting, like the one, the team who has the waves in is going to be at a little bit of an advantage because you know when the other team is making moves on the map. If they're not showing on a wave that's past their river, then you have an idea that they're smoking up. And you can see here, smoke up immediately from Geek Fam. Wave is pretty far in. Everybody else from Aurora is trying to gather themselves. Only buyback on the Konka and the Morphling. And this is going to take place at their outpost so they can tp into it from geek fam not so much from aurora yeah they have buybacks on <laughs> konka and on the morph aurora just needs to pray that they are not killing the hero with by beside the chrono uh -huh. so they can keep fighting because this is a roshan on the bottom side and this is radiant area they just uh -huh. buy back and tp to the torment to, to the outpost Yeah, no, this is a, a huge position for them right now. I think, all in all, it feels pretty even for this fight. Since you do have those, you know, free lives that can come back to yourselves for Radiant. Uh, even though you are fighting into this immense team fight, they've done a really good job of Geek Fam at staying spread. Which does mean that it's been poor Kunkka, right? Like, Kunkka hasn't gotten a really big, like, Torrent Storm off because these fights are so disjointed. 
I feel bad for him. It's really hard to play these because of all the Chronospheres or arenas. Even the just the sleep coming down from the Elder Titan. Kind of hard yeah, for him to play this one. The fight is never the same place. You have like Puck and Morph running around. Mm -hmm. In and out, so it's hard to get value out of the water park. You know, you, you want to hear something interesting? Mm -hmm. Elder, Titan, Elder Titan is about to finish his Aghanim Scepter. It's <gasps> finally really? clear, actually. Oh, babe. The briefcase has entered the game. Damage on the fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm excited he for this, man. He got the tier 4 item. Let's see if that helps him fighting. Yeah, true. He's gonna hit a, a whole nother power spike, taking away the Philo Stone, getting himself maybe a a mind breaker or something. It's gonna be pretty nice for him. Ooh, a mind breaker would be funny. Mm-hmm. Like you have the briefcase that's gonna come down and just like beat people in. I don't think he has his shard yet, so he will still have to like run into the fight. Yeah, if he had he shard, he would it. just like stomp down and he becomes the gamer. Uh, but th this is going to be huge. He locks himself on top of the Morphling. No base armor. I'm pretty sure Morphling is all stats right now, so that armor will get completely stripped away. Yeah. Oh, sorry. She will have four armor on the Morphling <laughs> if <laughs> if they uh, they go on top because of the Vlad. So, you know, they've got something still, but a lot of armor going to get stripped away from Natsumi if the ET gets on top of them. I just hope he, just, he, he doesn't just die instantly. Yeah. As he tries to fight people. They are oh, not ready. ready for days of Geek Fam. Uh, I don't think they're ready for like Aurora either. Three heroes, spirit? Yeah. He'll hit no, her. I mean, it will be good, but they're also like not playing for it. Our 23 grabs the wisdom rune. He's not really around. Meanwhile, everybody on Geek Fam, they're getting close. I think they just burned another smoke for it. Or no, 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 sorry, that was Aurora smoke. They smoke up on the other side. They finally grouped up. Just smoked. Hey, if you take this in a very tight area, this is definitely good for Aurora. They're already going to start stunning up Roche. They want to be the ones with area control once he's up. And they see it. The boys no smoke there. Go. Breaking each other's smokes. Chips in the night. So they're really baiting the lash. He's got the, uh, the the Wind Waker. He's got the BKB. He's a fine one to bait out, but they're playing so carefully on both sides. We do have a Watcher for Aurora. Slightly advantage to them. And they're actually gonna just slow poke Roshan. Everybody is playing Can so they carefully kill the in their trees. By doing this. <laughs> With Diabolic Edith, he might actually have a chance. I think they could just slow burn this down. Neither team wants to give an inch. Mid lane is pushing. Oh, that's true. Not a big, big problem, but... Uh, it's a lot. That's a lot of rage power. creeps. No, yeah, they're going to have to answer that left. eventually. If needed. That's big. I bet they're really regretting not having that other Rax right now. I can't believe they're killing the Rouge like this. They are doing it still. Now he's going to commit into the pit. They don't have a ton of circles to give to him, but at this point, they have the Chronos here. He's going to jump into it on the face of the He gets matched up by Rouge, then he gets hit by the Veer, running away. But with the arena in, they're going to try to save this. They do get the Aegis on Lord off. Now they're going to continue the assault. Jump forward, gets the Chronos here. It's on to two, but the Conqueror's one of them. He's pretty big. Can they actually get the kill? With the Earth Splitter, is it enough? He finally gets taken down. Now they're going to lift up the bat right here. Fall as well. Lord off with the double kill. And somehow they killed Mac. It's three gone. The triple for the left rack. They get the Aegis and they don't even have to walk away without it. Oh and my no! god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my. Okay, well, hey, look, the rest of the fight was fantastic for them. Who cares? That Aegis, it, it wasn't, it didn't matter too much. They will get themselves. It was the refresher shard, so hey, you gotta yeah. use it sometime. <laughs> With that, they could definitely just go high ground bottom, then try to connect mid right after. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you gotta get something off the map now. You got an 8,000 net worth lead. Low enough, I love it, man. With the Aegis, he's running up. He'll get himself, uh... Oh, yeah, this guy, he's stepping up. Now, they do have the Hex on Morphling. Jazz, just let me know the Mars is around, all right? He won't commit onto that one. With this Hex, they finally have soft commit. They don't have to all-in. And, yo, speaking of all-inning, 
Why get Megas? Why not just go for the tier fours? They want to make them buy. But they, they just really left. Want to these. That's a start. And they use the banner on the bottom lane as well. Mm, okay. so these creeps, they are big. Look at the catapult. Look at this catapult. Some serious damage coming. Mm-hmm. Walking around the high ground as well. 23. Beating it down. They will have the puck now. They don't have the Chronosphere just yet. They might take this one and run away. Sleep out just to make sure everybody can evacuate. Lornoff does still have the Aegis. They can kite until the Chronosphere is back up. Don't tell me they are afraid of going there. I ain't afraid of After what they did at the road fight. Mm-hmm. No way, Lornoff is scared. They're meticulous. They're calculating. They know they can do it. 23. Once that Chronosphere back up, it can't be too long. 15 seconds, maybe. 25, okay, okay. They're gonna be able to go back in for another fight here. Geek Famer trying. Oh, they found the no, puck. The Blink Hex, they found the puck right away, but is there anyone else to help out? Jazz will Blink on in, gets lassoed actually. Gonna get lifted back up thanks to the Rubik here, but can they continue this fight? Jazz has to escape. Lornoff doesn't know such language. He gets right on in with the Bloodstone. He'll force everybody back from Geek Fam. Trying to jump forward. 23, gets a Chronos here. He finds the Morphling. He finds the puck. We'll get used into the sky. The Morphling wants the sleep. will connect back onto the puck. Stunned up, but they don't have any vision. Oh, no, they finally get the puck out of here. Mac is gone. And for Aurora, this could be the beginning of the end. They'll take down the Kunkka. Speared back on the Dark Willow. They get the beautiful Chronosphere, and that is it. Geek Fam will falter in game number one. Aurora get revenge for what happened to them in that upper bracket. And they'll take a game one victory versus Geek Fam. This is a beautiful GG call. Because they just found out, okay guys, we can't fight. Mm -hmm. This is the Konka team. Be, not, not being able to outfight the enemy.